Hey there, it's Simon from FootPro, and I'm super pumped about today because I'm gonna show you some sweet boot innovation in the form of the Lang Shadow 120 MV. Ski boot innovation does progress, but typically it's progressing, I think, at a fairly moderate rate, and then a premium brand like Lang come out with something very forward thinking. Where this boot is particularly innovative is in the redesigning of the pivot point at the outside and inside ankle bone. Basically, if we bring the pivot point down a bit lower, change the way that the boot is anchored through the back, we should notice that when we try and flex a boot like this, that the resistance against your shins as you push forwards doesn't feel like it used to. I haven't skied in this boot yet. We don't have a lot of snow on the ground here in Australia just yet. It's the start of winter, um, but I look forward to being able to try a pair. And having just tried it on in the store though, um, I can say firsthand, it does feel different. It's a 120 flex boot, so it's meant to be quite a high-end, uh, high-performance type of boot. So based on that, it should be quite stiff. My other boot that I ski in is a 120 flex boot and it's fairly solid. First few impressions of trying to flex the Shadow 120 are that it feels progressive. So you push your shins forwards, there's a little bit of give. You push a bit harder, the resistance doesn't necessarily build. It feels kind of the same. And as I really load up on the boot, it's a very, very similar amount of resistance. The feeling of stiffness as you flex further and further and further forward in this boot is not that it builds up and becomes harder and harder and harder. It almost feels the same right the way through its full range of, of flexion. So that's a very, very cool design. It's allowing you to flex and distribute your pressure further forward with a little bit less effort. Um, the design through this, what's it called? The suspension blade through the rear spine of the upper cuff there is harnessing that energy. And then as you flex the boot forwards with this nice progressive feel, the suspension blade wants it to go back where it started and provides that, that rebound and that acceleration, that pop out of the turn. Let's take a look at the lining. Two things to note here, an asymmetric toe box. That's cool, well done, Lang. Um, the two things we hear about when we get a brand new boot on someone's foot is big toe or little toe. Uh, and look, the big toe pressure usually fades quite quickly. So we work our way into warming the boot up and the first few minutes of, um, of the liner stretching. But the feeling around the little toe sometimes is the, the one that sticks around. It's often to do with the liner. The shells have usually got enough space in them if we've picked the right boot for you. But where you've got a seam that connects the body of the liner to the toe box, this section here is often where people feel that extra bit of pressure. Um, by bringing that lateral seam back as far as they have, they're I suppose creating this transition point closer to where the fifth metatarsal, went, uh, where the knuckle of the little toe is and not so much the little toe itself. So that's gonna work really well. This feature here around the, the ankles and the, the midfoot of the liner is another uh, great innovation. You know, we used to do something similar to a ski boot liner when we've We've stretched the boot. We've done everything we can to try and modify to make more space. And the last thing we, the last little trick we had up our sleeves was to put little, little thin little cuts in the liner that allow it to bellow out around that pressure point. Well, Lang have gone and done that to all the key pressure points that we'll find on a liner. So around the ankles, around the fifth metatarsal, um, medial arch, medial ankle. It now has got the ability just to bellow out under pressure a bit more which is very cool. Let me just put them back together. The Shadow range replaces the RX range and I suppose it's, it's on the Lang website now. Don't know what the prices will be yet, you know. We'll wait and see. But we are looking forward to stocking these in our store. They're gonna be absolutely wicked. Hey, thanks for watching today. Uh, as always, if you've liked this review of this Lang Shadow 120 ski boot, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to be the first to see our reviews and our videos, just subscribe, it makes it so easy. All right, everyone, thanks heaps. We'll see you next time, bye.